Here, on our planet, it is peaceful. But out there, it is not. This is a supernova explosion. These occur due to a red giant star's death, and they go with a massive explosion. In 2022, NASA witnessed the annihilation of a full solar system due to these explosions. According to NASA, it is a case of cosmic cannibalism. And due to this cannibalism, those massive planets were torn into pieces. Faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it, and it'll just rip. And I'm terrified by this. Recently, there was a case of Betelgeuse. This red giant is about to explode, and if it does, it will be visible from Earth. But now, there is a new star, C.W. Leonis, which is closer to us than Betelgeuse, and it is also at its last stage. Can this be the reason for Earth's destruction? According to NASA, destruction of some red giants can create a life-supporting environment in their nearby solar systems. They could become a reason for life in a distant solar system. In the case of C.W. Leonis, it has become a red giant, expelling masses more than four Plutos. If you were to take this star and replace it with ours, its radius would be equal to Mars' orbit. This massive giant is constantly changing its size, causing its light to dim and brighten. Due to this fluctuation, it was observed in 1969. At night, American astrophysicist Eric Becklin was doing his routine observation at Mount Wilson Observatory. He noticed a star periodically lowering its brightness and then increasing it by a massive amount. At that time, he didn't have any advanced instruments, so he matched this star with a data set and observed that this behavior was similar to a star at its red giant phase after which they explode. This phase in a star is often common. The first red giant was observed in 1596 by a German pastor named David Fabricius. David Fabricius was observing Mercury, and to locate it, he used a red star named Mira as a reference. He began his observation in August when it was easily visible, but by October, his reference star disappeared. At that time, he assumed that he had witnessed a star's death. However, in February, this star was back again. He didn't know that this star was at its last stage, which is why it was periodically dimming and brightening. C.W. Leonis is approximately 400 light years away, which is why observing it with the naked eye is difficult. NASA uses images from the Hubble telescope. You can see how humongous this star is. During a study of six years, scientists observed that its gas cloud is increasing, and due to this, its brightness fluctuated every 649 days. With more study of this star, it shows that C.W. Leonis is a carbon star. These carbon stars don't bring destruction, but rather life. C.W. Leonis's core isn't massive, so this means that it can fuse elements until carbon. According to our stellar model, C.W. Leonis will become a white dwarf, and in the next span of 10 billion years, a black dwarf. Like other stars, it won't be blasting away, but rather radiating its energy outward in the universe. <laughs>